Ooh, welcome in, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is a fairly new one, 2020 Dodge Charger. Oh, uh, noise in the rear end, I guess. I don't know, we gotta duplicate this. Oh, y'all hear that? Woo, sound like some get up. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna tell y'all something. The way that I don't feel that real rumble. Hold on. Like I feel a rumble, but it's like it feels like an add-on rumble. In other words, what I'm going with this is, is if is if this is a V8 or V6. It's only two options: a 3.6 Pentastar V6 or 5.7 or Hellcat for that matter, a V8 engine. Y'all hear that? I'm open the door. Yeah, guys. Uh, this is not a V8. I can tell. I'm telling you, man, it give off a, a nice rumble, but the suspense is killing me. So, instead of guessing, we're going to find out real quick. Ta-da! what I tell you? Yep, V6. Now, that, that doesn't take away from the fact that it's a nice... It's a beauty. Yes, it's a beautiful car and sound good. They must just added some uh, rumbleness to the exhaust. Which begs the question, how am I going to find noise in the rear? <laughs> yes, that's a complaint. Noise in the rear. What I will do is my civil duty and go test drive the thing and see if I can uh, see if anything come up. I got to try to duplicate it. I got to go through the motions, guys. Never just stop. Well, they got exhaust add on to it. So how am I going to tell? No, nah, I'm going to go through the motion. Let me go test drive this car and let me go find out sounds good all right guys for now let's see if we can uh this uh, sucker feel good look at that y'all see that tv action whoa it even got some pickup not a race car, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, my wheel's locking up. What the hell? Ooh. Hold on, guys. Wait a minute. That is not right. Hold on. Hey, come here. The wheel's locking up. Oh, man. Did they bust open the differential? The differential is jamming, guys. Where y'all going? Holy crap! Oh no, I'm fighting. I'm fighting with each other. My rear wheels are fighting with each other, guys. My brake is off. Ooh, right, guys. Let's get this thing in the air, man. Because it feels like the wheels are fighting with each other in the rear. The whole tight. We're going to check some things out. Ooh, righty, guys. Man, it still feels like this differential. Golly. It's fighting. And, guys, y'all know the sign signs to tell if somebody been doing burnouts you'll have rubber right in this area no burnouts now which begs the question all right who out there add on uh pros <laughs> what's making this muffler sound or the exhaust sound so so hemirish huh anybody know all right that's not why we're here at jt we're here to find out why this differential fighting with each other? Uh oh. Oh, I'm hearing something right here, guys. Oh, whoa. What is that? Y'all hear that? It's coming from here.
Whoa, what in the world? Oh, I see parts. I gotta take this wheel off. I see, I can hear stuff grinding. Let's see, do I hear it on this side? No, everything I'm hearing is over here, guys. So it may not be the differential. Maybe something. Because one of these wheels felt like it didn't want to move. I'm hearing a lot of crunching. Whoa! Ooh. I heard, I think the hardware kit done came apart. Guys, we got to get this wheel off. Hold tight. Let me find. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It's got a key. Let me find a key and get this wheel off. Stay tuned. Alright guys, yes, uh, we have some hardware issues, come on out, oh, y'all see all that stuff dropping, whoa, whoa, look, so, now, which begs the question, did somebody just do brakes on this car? This don't just happen just for the hell of it. I actually thought the differential was a jamming. Whoa! Holy crap. Wow, did they damage this? Look at this, guys. Whoa. Yeah, my brake hardware kit just exploded. How? <laughs> Where's the other shoe? Uh-oh. There is no other shoe. Wait a minute. Am I, am I looking at this right? It's supposed to be a shoe right primary and secondary. Basic brakes. They have basic real drum brakes. Remember, this is a drum disc setup. Okay. Uh, these pads really basically used for emergency brake purposes. This is the cable. Man, did it chew into this? Oh, look at this. Where is my other shoe? Oh, <laughs> look guys. They have combined. <laughs> they are combined. It's a primary and a secondary shoe. Combined. Okay. Alright. For a while there, I thought I needed a differential. Now, simply... Let's talk for a minute. Simply going in with new hardware kit will be implying that it's just out of the blue just came apart. In other words, a repair without a solution. No, a repair without finding out what caused it. It's kind of risky business. And But on this situation, guys, it's hard to tell what caused it. There's no random common thing that would cause real brake shoes to come apart or collapse or shatter or anything like that nothing wrong with the differential I wouldn't suspect I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna check the well this car don't have that many miles on it I don't know it's a fairly new car I don't want to expose too much about the car but my thinking is or my thing is what happened why did this come apart at any rate guys this is one of those we gotta start here moments <laughs> Okay, because I can't physically see what caused this, I have no idea. I wouldn't even, any, I'm open to suggestions out there. Oh well, yeah, Uncle Mark, uh, Capru, uh, all you guys, uh, what's my other buddy? Y'all know who you are. I don't want to leave anybody out, but what would make a rear brake assembly just shatter and come apart like this? Well, yeah, that's shot. I'm going to have to get a whole rotor assembly. Yeah, all of that's gone. I ain't chance to none of that. I will, however, 
have to temporarily put this back together because I'm not in my stall. So I can't leave this out like this. So guys, y'all know the drill. I'm going to order parts and uh, close this video out. I don't know. I try to make sure you get something out of these videos. What, what, JT, what do you think your subscriber is going to get out of this video? All right, before I close this. Okay, I got one. All right, what you can get out of this is, uh, don't, try not to guess, okay? Uh, verifying is a good thing, okay? Yes, I went so far as to verify the problem. I could have easily, I know some guys in here would have simply said, well, that feels like a differential. I need a differential. Yeah, so I actually went the extra mile to bring it in and remove the wheel. Uh, only I only removed the wheel, guys, because I heard the crunching on this side. So I don't want to take a lot of credit for that. But I want to make sure you get something out of this. Uh, exposure. Let's say, let's call it like that. You got a chance to see what happened if a rear brake assembly come apart. We'll leave it at that. Now, I'll fire the video up back up when all the parts get here. I'm going to order the whole complete... Um, what they call this uh, hardware kit rear brake hardware kit I need a rotor uh, guys never leave the caliper hanging I'm not it's not hanging but it's sitting up there and I'm hoping I didn't guys I'm getting this shield too yeah this looks like okay I'm getting this the hood bearing looks like it survived yeah I'm gonna get the shield and the complete hardware kit all right so that's all I have for this video, guys. Um, and I'm going to sell a diff service anyway, just to make sure the fluid is up to par. That's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.